Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week. Well, it's an early, early evening review. Sun's kind of starting to set, the cicadas are coming out, they're going to be loud, and you're going to hear them making their noise, but I want you to use your imagination on this one. Close your eyes, think, and just pretend that the sound of the cicadas are like little mini helicopters chauffeuring all the people to Pizza Hut so that they can, can get the Cheesy Bites pizza. So we'll just be creative with this one. And uh, with that, that masterful opening, that was a, a helicopter experiencing some technical, technical difficulties, but anyway, with that masterful opening and those, those precious words of wisdom, uh, and now into the review. The Cheesy Bites Pizza from Pizza Hut is back. It's back. It's 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 here. One of my favorite releases from Pizza Hut. One of my favorite items. I've enjoyed this one from the start. And I'm always thankful when they, they bring it back. Uh, the Cheesy Bites Pizza. It's like a stuffed crust pizza. So it's separated into these little uh, pullable, poppable bites that are filled with cheese. Uh, they have a little bit of like a garlic seasoning. Though you can... Uh, omit that if, if you wish and uh, it's just a really fun pizza comes with these bites comes with a marinara dipping sauce comes with one I got two I got an extra one but it does come with one cup of dipping sauce which is a great addition I'm very thankful for that and it's just a really fun pizza overall so I'm always glad when they bring it back just because uh, you know it's 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 like Christmas coming early, you know. It's one of those things. I'll sometimes bring it back to promote a movie or something, or I'll just bring it back to bring it back. That's in this case anyway. Like last year when they had the cheesy bites pizza, it was to promote the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that we all forgot existed at this point. But uh, this time they're just bringing it back for fun. This is what it looks like. You can see there I am, hopefully, with the cheesy bites pizza. You can see it's pepperoni on it, and all the little the little bites circling around it, and then you got the marinara sauce there. There's that real close-up look for you if you want. Hopefully you can see it all right. We're just going to pull out a slice. Uh, we'll go with this one if we can get it. All right. And uh, this is what it looks like, you know, standard, like a stuffed crust pizza, and there's the bites. So that's what it looks like. I'm just going to eat the slice give a very brief little, you know, summation about that, and then we'll just go into the, the crust and we'll tell you about that. Cheesy Bites Pizza from Pizza Hut going in. There is a trio of cheesy bites right there. And at the bottom here, you can see it's a very elusive practice. So this is some rare proof. This is what they call cheesy bites fusion. You see it there, how they're kind of fused into the pizza slice? One day they actually hope to, you know, be able to power our cars with this energy, but we'll see. Uh, as for the pizza itself, well, what does it taste like? Is it anything special? If you get a stuffed crust pizza, you know that it kind of has more of a, a hand-tossed style to it, where it isn't too doughy like uh, their pan pizza, nor is it really crispy either. It's like a little bit of a, a mix. A little thinner. It's like a hand-tossed style pizza. Keep that in mind. 
the pizza slice itself is a little greasy. Um, I gotta raise my voice so we can combat the helicopter noises. It's a little greasy. The pepperoni itself has a little bit of a saltiness to it. Um, you know, it's just greasy, salty, a little cheesy. Um, though the, the sauce itself is good, you know, it always comes in there and kind of gives a little bit of a, you know, a robust, a little bit of a sweetness there to it. Goes nicely with it. The pizza, though, is, is not incredible in so much that that is the main signature piece of the dish. What we're really focused on is the cheesy bites themselves. I'm gonna try that now. I'm gonna eat this one with no sauce, and then we'll go into this one and eat it with some sauce. So now we're gonna try the cheesy bites. Look at that sauce action. Wow. Yeah, the Cheesy Bites pizza is just a really fun, well, it's just a fun pizza to eat overall, if you ask me, quite frankly, where it's just, I don't know, I just think it's fun. You know, you get the crust there where you can just rip it off, you can, you know, eat the bites one at a time, or you can try and make it like a, a contest, you can really just, you know, shove them all in there, whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever, you know, I guess whatever makes you happy. Um, but the cheesy bites themselves are good. I would personally recommend getting it with the, the buttery garlic, um, little seasoning on the crust. I think that adds some good flavor, so if you're not a fan of it, again, you don't have to get that seasoning on the crust. The cheesy bites, though, they're fun. You know, you get that little bit of a cheesiness in there. The marinara sauce really ties it all together, if you ask me. I would just recommend really taking advantage of the marinara sauce, dip it in really good, you know, get it covered there. Uh, I know it would just be really tasty, really fun, and uh, just really enjoyable overall. But this was, it's really good. I enjoy it. I'd say if you like the stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut, you'll like this. They've had this for years. I'm sure many of you have tried this before, so you already know what to expect. There's no major changes or uh, anything like that with this new re-release. So it's the same as it ever was, but that's good. They did it. They do it good. They did it good, and it continues to be good. Uh, so that being said. The price for this is around $13, uh, give or take maybe a few cents, depending on your region. And it comes with the marinara sauce, which is very good. Again, that's a pleasant, a pleasant step in the right direction. Glad they did that. And uh, overall, I think it just tastes really good, so I'm impressed by it. And uh, that being said, out of 10, I'm going to be giving this a 9.17 out of 10. That's a 9.17 out of 10. I just think it's a really good pizza. I've always enjoyed it. I continue to enjoy it, and they just did a good job with this. I think it's just a really enjoyable, fun-to-eat stuffed crust pizza, and uh, I think you'll like it too, honestly. All right, on a final note, it's starting to get dark, so I'm going to wrap it up. You ever wonder, you know, let's say you eat this, and you're just, you know, you need something to wipe your hands or wipe your mouth, and you want to do it with style. I'd recommend you check out my store, teespring.com slash stores slash the report of the week. Check it out. I have review bra t-shirts there that if you make a mess, you know, you, you want to, whatever, you want to cough something up or uh, wipe your mouth or wipe the table or anything, you can do it with one of my t-shirts. It's a stylish way to do it. I'd recommend you check it out. Uh, new designs all the time. Check it out. Interesting variety of stuff. Teespring.com slash stores slash the report of the week. That's all that I have for you. I'll see you again in a couple days with another video. Thank you for watching, and take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.